Hi everyone, this is Bryce with eLearning Brothers, and today I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to insert a game from the eLearning Brothers library into uh, the new Lectora 12.1. So uh, we are really excited to, to kind of kick off this, uh, this partnership with Lectora because of how easy it is to insert our uh, template library inside, of, inside to, of Lectora. So one way to access it is to go up into the Tools tab and then select Template Library. But the other way is just to select this tab right down here that says Inspire Tools. And it will bring up this same, same menu. So, um, so I've already logged in uh, previously. However, if you haven't logged in, it will give you the option to log in and uh, then come to the uh, to the library here. Okay. So, um, so now if I go to navigate to the activities tab and then go to Lectora games, I can see the uh, the list of games that that we have available for Lectora. And uh, let's let's insert this millionaire game. This is one of my favorites. Uh, it's just fun to see the, the money dropping and just, it's just kind of fun. So once I pick the one I want, I click this downloads option and um, select the AWO, of course, and then it's in there. Uh, all I need to do is then easily go through and say if I have, for instance, let's say I have one of these designs up here. Say I have a uh, yellow that matches a little bit better with the, this uh, millionaire theme. So, uh, so then all I need to do is select the layers I want and bring them over into the the content area. So when I have a, a good spot, I'll do that. But also, I'll also want to center it a little bit. Center it in the course. And then I'll, I'll go through and do that to each one of the uh, slides as well. So grab this, bring it over here, and then um, so I can I get a, an, a good vertical position, and then align center. Okay, so that makes it makes it nice that way. And then I'll go to the game. Okay and select all the objects here. So these are all action groups. And audio obviously doesn't need to be moved. So I'll select everything else. And again, I will move this so that vertically it looks good. Okay, just right about there, and then um, I will center this horizontally. When I do that, it will center it on my stage. Okay, every individual piece. So then, one more thing, all I need to do is go down to the done, grab everything here. Again, center it. and center horizontally. Okay, so that easy to, to change uh, everything inside the course to align to, uh, to where you want it. Now, uh, one thing that we've got is uh, are these background um, overlaps here. So that can be easily changed. I just go to the uh, color box here, adjust this size, bring it over. So um, I could I could be a little bit more nitpicky on this, but um, you kind of get the idea, right? Uh, to to get it to the same size you want. Also, this one, if you do stretch this, it, it won't look um, it won't look abnormal to be stretched. So I'll just make this the same size as my color. Okay. So I could be again. I could be a little bit more nitpicky in getting these uh, these lines lined up uh, perfectly, but um, just to save time, I'll I'll just kind of move past that. 
Okay, so uh, so there you go. So uh, once once you have the background and uh, all the other uh, all the other objects in place, all you need to do is go through each each one of these text box uh, groups and change the content. So right now it has lorem ipsum in it. All I need to do is again go to say the introduction page and uh, select on the text that that I want to modify. So double click into it. And say uh, and just start typing. So uh, new T I T L E um, content, I guess content. Okay. Okay. Another thing that I could really easily do is change the color of the background. So all I need to do is come up here and change. Say I want it to be green, right? Uh, so now I have a green background with the same um, the same rays for the uh, the background as well. So when I go into here I have this green background and um, and it, it falls in line with everything else. However I do like the purple so I'm just gonna undo that. And uh, as we go forward we just continue to go through the game and modify the text. So for instance this is question 20 uh, and, and in order to, to kinda help out and figure out exactly which ones uh, you're on and which ones you want to um, modify. I go ahead and hide all the other groups that I'm not currently working with, and this is how you hide them. So there are 20 of them, so that does take a little bit of to, to you know uh, to hide all of them. But once we got them hidden, uh, it'll be easily modified. So I'll scroll up a bit more. Okay. So those can be shown, that's fine. All right. So these are the hints that I'm hiding right now. These are all the hints for each individual question. Okay, so hint 20. All right, so I'm on 20, uh, question 20, and I got have incorrect feedbacks and correct feedbacks for each one. Okay, so if I wanted to change the question, I just go up here and say, this is my new question to um, question 20. Oops, 20. Okay. And then I, I, I like to leave a letter on there just to make sure I have this, the right um, the right format of the text. So then I'll put a period and I'll, I'll put a question mark. And then uh, I can also change the correct and incorrect feedbacks here as well. Here we go. Hold on. Okay, so this is the correct feedback. Um, correct. So congratulations, new um, feedback. Okay, and then uh, same thing that goes for this one. Incorrect new feedback. If you wanted to change the also the text right here, very easily done with Lectora's uh, tools. Uh, just change it to maybe a smaller text font size. There you go. So that easy. Uh, so that's how you change the question as well as the same thing goes with the hint. You just uh, go go in and, and modify the text here. Uh, and, and once you have that all, all figured out and uh, figured out how many questions you want to use, uh, changed all the question uh, texts and everything, uh, it's ready to go live. All you have to do is go, come up here and publish the publish out the course. However, uh, one thing that, that you might want to think of is say we have 20 questions available. However, when you go through it and put in all your questions, you realize, you know what, I only want 10 questions. Uh, very easily done. Uh, all you need to do is come up to uh, up to here and see this variable that says change for number of questions used. I go to the actions tab and uh, I can change it right here. So currently right now we're only using 10. I can use 20 um, but whatever I want to use I, I put in the uh, the 
the amount that I want to use in this uh, action. So to change the, the questions possible, the cues possible in this uh, certain interaction. That's, that is if I want to use five, I use five, same thing goes. Okay. So, uh, so that's that. All you, all you need to do is that and then you can, um, and then it, then it will be ready to go, ready to go live. I'll, again, all you have to do is hit publish. Oh, I need to save this title before it's ready to go. So let's save it. Uh, that's fine. We'll just save it there. Publish. And let's not do alt tags. Publish it out. And as you see here, it's crossing my fingers. There's no red actions or red uh, errors. <laughs> So yeah, see, no red errors. Got lucky on that one. So okay, so um, when I publish it, I can view it. Go to the next page, Millionaire Shows. Got my new content text, hit continue. And then there we go, we're in, into the question. See right here, it also says five questions. One out of five, because I put that five on that variable. One thing also you might want to change is this uh, this black background here to, to adjust and, and fit the certain size that you want. There you go. That's how you insert a game inside of Lectora 12.1. Thanks a lot.